So my study was looking at the, um, all the buildings and the disturbance to ice-free ground across the entire continent, looking at how much area they take up, what we call the, the footprint, and um, mapping that into a, a GIS data set. So we found that uh, the amount of uh, buildings in Antarctica um, covers 390,000 square metres, and uh, the area of disturbed ground just in the ice-free areas was, um, was 5.2 million square metres of disturbance. So in the context of the size of the continent, it's quite a small area, but what's really important is, is where it is. So less than half a percent of Antarctica is ice-free, but over 80% of those buildings are just within that ice-free environment. As far as where the, uh, the disturbance is to ice-free ground, so it's quite a small percentage of Antarctica, but it's the most important as far as biodiversity. It's where all the penguins are, all the mosses, um, and all the other kind of um, ecological values, or for most of them. Uh, and we disproportionately focus um, our activities in the really small part of the continent. So I think for everyone, it, um, it's going to show um, that, there, we, that we do actually have a significant presence in Antarctica from the, um, the different nations present there, uh, and also give each of those um, nations active in Antarctica an idea of how much there actually is and give them context when they're proposing new developments and how they manage their facilities.